Hi guys, Brad Hawthorne with Northland Fish and Tackle, and there's one thing I do after every guide trip or for keep, keeping trip, or anytime I'm out fishing, especially for walleye, you know. Smallmouths, I do all catch and release, but walleye, when you're keeping fish, putting them in the live well, this is a, this is a really big tip for guys that they, they don't utilize it. Simply look in your live well, we just pulled all of our fish out. Now we had a pretty slow morning. Yesterday, we caught all of our fish on long shank jigs and minnows. And we got back, the live well had a few crayfish in it, but 30, 40 minnows in there, shiner minnows in there. So we were dialed in, we we're catching fish on jigs and minnows. Today we started out a little slow and we couldn't figure out why until we got our first fish and we saw bugs in it. So just to prove the point, check your live well at the end of every day and it will tell you exactly what the fish are eating. Right there, this is all bugs. That's all mayfly larvae right there. We switched over to using crawlers and spinners today and we absolutely massacred the walleyes as proof by the net there. But so take that into account. If you just see some fuzzy stuff on the bottom of your live well, reach in there, pick it up, see what it is. It's gonna be bugs, minnows, crayfish, and adapt your presentation the next day or the current day to what you're seeing in the bottom of your live well. Hey, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There we go, now that's what I'm talking about, baby. Big old walleyes. Look at that right there. <laughs>